Good afternoon and welcome at the PASS Conference 2022. I have the pleasure this afternoon to have with me Professor Nicola Marzari from EPFL Lausanne, who is the first recipient of the Praise HPC Excellence Award. So first of all, congratulations, Nicola, for this award. Thank you for your time and for being here with us. Could you tell us why did they give you this award? Thank you, Maria Grazia. Um, I don't know, I, but I'm certainly very happy and very proud. Um, I think uh, probably they liked uh, the scientific story and how we were able to leverage uh, HPC resources um, to actually achieve uh, you know, one of uh, the goals in computational material science uh, of the last few years, uh, that is really uh, material discovery and materials design. So we were actually able to discover novel materials, uh, characterize them, uh, engineer their properties, and I think what is most notable, we were able to convince our experimental colleagues uh, to try and synthesize them and measure them and make devices out of them. So this is, yes, thank you. This is exactly what I, what, I, uh, what I wanted to hear. So the great achievement is not only, because you are a computational, a, theor a theoretical scientist. So what, is, uh, what I find extremely interesting is that your uh, predictions have been proved by the experiment. Is this correct? Yeah, indeed. It is, uh, and uh, it's always uh, very exciting. Uh, you know, we always uh, uh, discuss about uh, this uh, first principle simulation, simulations that we do uh, using basically the fundamental equations of quantum mechanics uh, without any input from experiment and being able uh, to reproduce reality. But actually seeing that they reproduce uh, reality is uh, an emotion every yeah. time. Thank you very much. Nicola, okay, I, I congratulate with you, but of course you also have a team that is working with you and that has, has shared the, uh, the prize. Now, I am from the Supercomputing Center, so I would like to ask you, how much having access to this uh, uh, supercomputer and to these uh, computational resources has helped you and helps you in your, uh, in your research? No, it's, it's obviously fundamental and that's what uh, Preis has uh, recognized, not even with the award, but also supporting us uh, exactly as uh, also the CSCS Supercomputing Center has supported us during the years. Uh, and I would say it's not only the availability of uh, you know, hardware and computing resources, but uh, it's almost the co-design, uh, working together to understand how we can engage and exploit uh, these resources uh, in the ways that are needed, say, by the scientific case uh, uh, that we have. So it's been uh, uh, very, very important uh, during the years to work together uh, with the computing centers uh, because, uh, uh, you know, it's never a turnkey solution from day one. You really have uh, to figure out uh, how to, if you want, handshake the software and the hardware for the research project at yeah. hand. So it's really a, a collaboration that yeah. uh, brings uh, always, uh, always to success. Nicola, now I have a question of a bit of a different kind. So if you would want to uh, attract the new generation uh, to science and to uh, academic careers, what would you, what would you uh, tell them? What is, where is the fun? What is the, 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 uh, the fun in what you do? Yeah. yeah, I have to say, you know, I, I've never had as much fun in my <laughs> life and in my career as I'm having now. Uh, because, as you know, for many years, uh, even if, you know, the theories, the algorithms, the codes, uh, you know, have been developed uh, for decades, uh, um, and there was, you know, outstanding science made already, you know, 30 years yeah. ago and even earlier, uh, these days uh, we can really, you know, explore uh, effortlessly the configurational, compositional space of materials. We can go searching uh, and really... Uh, Computers have become in some ways uh, so powerful that, uh, you know, we don't have to struggle anymore to, you know, have to cut corners in everything that we do, but we can get really the solution and the result that we have. And, you know, in terms of attracting the new generation, um, you know, I think there is a bit of magic in what we do. You know, when, when we say, you know, we reproduce reality from first principle, you know, I still get, 
you know, surprised uh, uh, every, every, every other day. But also, you know, there is a, a lot of computing, there is a lot of data, there is a lot of team effort, a lot of what we do is open source, open access, and a lot of the younger generation uh, actually resonate very well with this more, let's say, democratic approach uh, to science and dissemination. So it's actually going uh, going very well, well I would say. It's, it's yeah. a good time to, yeah, to, yeah, to go yeah, into yeah, science. Yeah. Nicola, you heard, I mean, you know better than me about this uh, pre-exascale system, exascale system. So you as a scientist, what is your, uh, your dreams? What would you like to investigate if you had access to these super-duper machines? Do you have something yeah, that... Yeah. No, we, 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 we do some of it that we have already started. Uh, again, you know, in the back of my mind, uh, there is also the spirit of the material scientist. So a lot of what we do is not only new theories that we need to make sure that uh, we are accurate and realistic, uh, but at the end, uh, we want to discover new materials and uh, new properties. And uh, we try to, you know, look for materials that are really useful so you know we work a lot on batteries we work a lot on superconductors exactly because uh, you know energy is one of uh, the you know major uh, important uh, problems uh, of our society so you know i would love uh, to you know discover a new cathode material a new superconductor and you know i'm actually you know slightly confident yeah, that we might find something so so <laughs> yeah good. Nicola, what do you think of this past conference 2022? Yeah. After two years not seeing each other, so what's your feeling? Yeah, no, I mean, the, the, the last two years have been, uh, you know, for all of us, uh, very intense and somehow also difficult. Uh, and uh, uh, our work uh, quadrupled somehow because, uh, you know, all of a sudden you are fully dedicated <laughs> to your work. You don't, uh, you don't have anything else. Uh, but it's just uh, so pleasant, actually, to, to finally meet persons and have uh, uh, the casual conversations uh, that sometimes just uh, give you inspiration for new ideas. That, that has been missing, uh, yeah. missing a lot. And of course, you know, PASC feels a little bit like family, so I'm happy to be here. So thank you very much, Nicola. Congratulations again to you and your team for this uh, award, very well-deserved award. And we will see you at the ceremony. Thanks. And again, you know, it's all the merit of the team. I have to say, as usual, I didn't do anything. I just get the prize, although we'll split it. <laughs> no, I don't think so.